Hello friends and happy Sabbath. It's nice to see you again. Today I will tell you a story about listening or hearing. Our memory verse is found in 1 Samuel 3.10. Samuel said, Speak, Lord, for thy servant hearing. Do you know what is the body part for hear, listening? Yes, good guess. It's our ears. Let me take you to the story about Samuel the little boy priest. Once there was a little boy named, named Samuel who was brought to the temple to live with Priest Eli. Priest Eli took Samuel's hand and walked with him in the temple court. Sam, Samuel saw the evening fire burn, burning on the altar. He saw the shiny white basin and the cloth fence. He heard prince blowing trumpets and people praying. The tiny bells on Priest Eli's room twinkled, twinkled, twinkled as Samuel and he walked together. Priest Eli and Samuel stopped at the temple door. Everything in the temple was made of gold. There was a golden table, a golden altar, and a golden candlestick with seven golden lamps. Samuel watched as Priest Eli went inside the temple to burn sweet-smelling incense to, on the golden altar and pray to God. Some hope that someday God will choose him to be a priest, a priest like Eli. That he would do God's special work in the temple. Some will help priest Eli with the temple work. Every morning he got up early to open the curtain doors of the temple. The curtains were purple and red and blue. Samuel was a busy worker. He brought wood for the fire. He carried water for the shiny wash basin. He dusted the golden, golden furniture. Samuel helped Priest Eli fill the seven golden lamps with oil. Now, the lamps must be kept burning all through the day and all through the night. The oil made the lamp burn with a yellow light. When it began to grow dark, Samuel closed the temple doors, and then came the came came the time he likes best. It was story time. Samuel bought his favorite book and sat on a stall beside Priest Eli. Samuel's book did not have pages to turn. It was a long, long piece of paper. Roll into a roll, go with a scroll. Priest Eli unrolled the book and read him stories about Jophus, Joseph, and Moses and God. Much too soon the stories were over, and it was time to go to bed. Samuel said good night to Priest Eli and spread his bed up on the floor. Then he said his prayer and lay down to sleep. Priest Eli slept in a room nearby. If he needed anything in the night, he would call Samuel. Samuel went to the. Samuel went to sleep. He was sound asleep. One night, when a voice called, Samuel, Samuel jumped up. He ran to Priest Eli. Here I am, for you called me. But Priest Eli said, I didn't call you. Lie down again. Samuel went back to and lay down. Before Samuel could go to sleep, the voice called again. Samuel. Samuel jumped up quickly and ran to Priest Eli. Here I am for you, called me. But Priest Eli said, I didn't call you, my son. Lie down again. Samuel went slowly back to bed. He was sure someone had called him. A month before Samuel had, was on his pillow, the voice called, Samuel. Samuel jumped up. He ran to Priest Eli. 
Carry on for your day, called me. Then Crystal, I knew that it must be God who was calling Sam. He said, go lie down and if he calls again, say, speak, Lord, for thy servant here. Once more, Samuel lay down on his bed. Samuel lay wide, wide awake, listening, listening. Then the voice called, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel sat up in bed in almost a whisper. He said, Speak for thy servant here. And gathered Samuel's whisper and talked to Samuel and told him many things. God told Samuel he had chosen him to be a priest. To be a priest. This made Samuel happy now. He wasn't just a little boy named Samuel. He was Samuel the little priest. Just like Samuel, he is he is a little boy, but he listened to God's call. I pray that we will also use our ears to listen to God whenever he calls us. Thank you for listening. God bless you all.